When I first signed up to the trip, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Our group kind of just stood there and thought, it's amazing that we're here. It's one of our life and spirit, you might not be able to do it again. This trip is massive for our kids and probably an experience that most of them will never get again. The Challenger is about social mobility and it's about giving life chances to young people. We are giving them that opportunity so that they can grow as a person outside the classroom as well as inside the classroom. Some of the stuff that I've done over the past two days, I never think I'll do. We are here in Andorra and it is about them organising themselves, it's about pushing themselves, it's about resilience, it's more than just a ski trip. This environment is more of a life experience. You don't get any experiences of the real world sitting in a classroom. They learn things that they need to learn to take exams, but what part of that is real life? This environment, particularly a trip away, is real life. The Challenger Trust invited us to work with the Challenger Multi Academy Trust to explore the impact of their character development programmes. What we're able to do as an organisation is map very carefully uh, the kinds of characteristics, habits, strengths that you would hope an experience like this in Andorra would extract, would promote. The purpose of a school is fundamentally social. It is to enable young people to learn how to navigate the adult world, to learn how to develop relationships, to learn how to deal with the rough as well as the smooth. It's all these things which loosely could be termed development of character. If you have a strong character, what it means is that you will do the right thing, regardless of whether you're doing it in public or not. So our report is very clear. When we measured student to student and teacher to student relationship before they went, I didn't think we were going to see a movement so sharp, so distinctive, but relationships had increased by 30 to 40% um, as we empirically measure them. The relationships are changing. We're not in that teacher-student dynamic because we're working together. It's, it's not just building a relationship, it's building the overall like sense of being known and trusted. So if you're asking the kinds of things that improved, we're talking about levels of trust between people, we're talking about levels of knowledge and appreciation, we're talking about recognition of skills and capacities. And what that means is that young people suddenly felt valued in a way that they hadn't previously. It completely changes relationships with them. They're not the child you see for five hours a week. How that transfers back in the classroom, I don't know, but I think they just respect you probably a bit more because they see you are a person and not a machine. Once you start doing those kinds of things with children outside the classroom, you bring that approach back into the classroom. You suddenly have a completely different relationship, and they do with you. I feel like I'll be closer with them in class because obviously I've seen them in a different environment and it definitely affects the way you look at someone when you've seen them do something that they wouldn't normally do. <laughs> it's important to understand that relationships are both the context in which those habits or characteristics will emerge, you will see them expressed. But what we know from research is that relationships are the place where they are best developed as well. They are the context in which these kinds of characteristics develop. From my experience, and this is 40 years of being in education, I have strongly come to the view that young people learn at least as much, I would say more, from each other than they do from adults. And what a great school does is create the context, a, a virtuous circle, if you like, in which the quality of relationships that enables them to drive each other. I do think that all children should spend time outside of the classroom. It's, it's breaking it up and creating different environments and different spaces. 
you're in a situation that I hope they will come away from thinking, I know that I can do something more with my life. You've got to want to be successful yourself. If you don't want to achieve your goals, then you're never going to have the right mindset to do that. I've realised that you could do anything if you put your mind to it. <laughs>